G'day all and welcome back to episode 6 of my Hardcore Automation Nation series. Thank you so much for joining once again. I hope you liked my brand new intro as I've only just finished it on like Friday or Saturday last week. So last episode we went through and upgraded our refining and assembling so we can get things done a lot quicker. We also got the unknown signal which will actually go and set out right now and I will continue so let's set this thing up. Let's go to the remote. Let's get rid of the old unknown signal. Go down to the GPS and add that right there. I'm used to having a lot more signals on my setup, on my um, testing save, sorry. Let's go to setup actions, go to groups. Okay, apparently I don't have it anymore. Oh, that's right. I'm so used to my Mark III now. Remote control signal, remote control, I want you to do collision avoidance on, and that should be everything. So I did move the button, or well, this button here, I haven't got rid of it yet, down here. So we've got the merge block to disconnect, that one just there, and then the autopilot for that signal drone. So let's turn the autopilot on and disconnect. Bye drone. Let's see how we go. Uh, I do have a Mark III, which I really do want to build up in this episode. But first of all, I want to build up a small drone printer and my auto drilling rig um, this episode. So hopefully I'll get that all done. That'll be really good. I uh, did do some upgrades on the pug, as you may notice. Boing. Got some more thrusters. Got an extra gyro or two. Uh, got a timer block so I can set up the docking procedure like I said in a couple episodes ago. I uh, got a remote block, blah 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 blah, and I really need to mine up some resources um, off camera before we go through because I really don't have enough to build what's needed for this episode. So this episode, to sum it all up, I'd really like to build my Mark III drone for the signal. Oh, sorry, the unknown signal retriever Mark III. I'd like to build up a cargo drone, and I'd like to build them both up with a drone printer from my tutorial series, very simply. And what was the other one? The auto drilling rig. I'll see if I can build a platform out the back here, I think, and see if we can get that done. I think that'll be good. So let me go out and get some resources and I'll be right back. But first, before I go, you may notice the zombies and everything are gone. I am having a few problems with the spiders still spawning on top of the zombies so just this episode until I can figure it out um, there'll be no creatures just until I can get that fixed uh, etc so I'll be right back right before we head off let's get this unknown signal shall we as Ah! Go back up, shall we? Come on down. This is the one with the thruster on it again. Don't fly away. Fly away. Fly away. Fly away. No. No. Oh. oh. What is it with the cow helmet in this series? In this series, the cow skin. <laughs> oh, that's kind. Of that's um that's kind of funny actually. Uh, where are we? There we are. What did you give me? Fertilizer, a bit of water, oh some tofu. Good. I'm actually kind of hungry, thirsty. Kill hungry, thirsty, dead. Oak. Brilliant. All right, I'll grind that down later on off camera. Uh, need to dock this bad boy up again before I forget, and it like crashes and dies. Let's connect that back up and wait for this storm, shall we? While I'm waiting, I'm going to go grind this thingamajig down. I need a better way of getting over this rubbish, because it's just driving me nuts. Get rid of that. Yep, even though it's finished. Build plan is weird. Alright, unknown signal. Let's go get it. Go to the remote signal. As I said before, we need to get rid of that. We need to put the new one, move it into the correct position, 
get the actions on it so we want it to lock it when it gets to the unknown signal oh and we also want to turn the collision avoidance so it doesn't run into voxels on the way back there we go so autopilot bye i'll see you in i'll see you when uh, you're in front of me next all right, so I think we need to grind the rest of these down. Or at least see if we can get maybe another battery on here somewhere. Where would we be able to put it though? An extra battery on this would be extremely handy. I'm even thinking grinding these. And slapping it here. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out a different way of putting these back thrusters on. And I think I know exactly where we can do it. it sounds like the unknown signal. Good timing. Hopefully that's not an explodey one. Because that's always my worry. No, it just looks like one that rolls away, possibly. No. What'd you give me? What'd you get? Cook numbers, water, more credits, bit of meat, power. Eh. Not too shabby. What you gonna give me? Oh, no thing. Alright, back to the pug. Nope, missed it. Here we go. For now, I want you on recharge. Recharge. Good. Good, good. Now I need to put these thrusters. Control 2 should be on 5. Yep, right there. 1... Two. Mm, no, then it's going to get in the way all the time. I will, however... Do this so I don't get stuck anymore. Yeah, much nicer. I should be able to go over that. Be like... This may be, like, design parts, like everyone thinks, but to me, this is functionality. This is me actually being able to get around and do stuff. Great. Should be able to weld all of that up. So they only take one plate each. There we go. Look at that. Much easier. No more jumpy, jumpy, and sharpy falling off and stuff and things. So, what do these bad boys need? They need motors, construction. Gonna need a lot. What was that? That sounded like lightning. I don't like that noise. Oh, it was this falling out of the sky because it ran out of power? Because I'm a schmuck. I'm used to the Mark III. We really need to change it up. Ah, that's all right. That's now out of commission, I guess. But I'll grind it down. Alrighty then, now that I've tidied it up and extended it a little bit further, let's get this piston and drone printer set up ASAP, shall we? So I've got a bit of an idea of what I want to do. And it's going to be hanging it off the side here, but first I need a conveyor in the right orientation. It doesn't matter. Okay, there. there we go. I uh, need a piston. Need you to go right here if you could, please. Where are you? That way. Go right here. Oh, okay, I'll drop down. No prob. There we go. I need some welders. To 
go, just like so. Uh, I want these ports to the outside of it, like so. Two, three, four, that should be good. Now let's weld it all up, shall we? Hold these both up and get that last one up the top left. Connect everything up. Get a button panel down. Set up the piston. Group up the welders. Need to build a rotor. Get a head up the top. Get a merge block on it with a projector. Pre connect it onto here. That should be alright. Oh, that last one. Nope. Not enough. Point. There we go. Good, good, good. So let's quickly group these welders up. Printer welders, sounds good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's get this rotor down or actually better yet let's set the piston up quickly get rid of that nice and clean so what i want is point four so there we go so it'll extend out now let's get that button panel down and i'll explain everything as i go through and set it up but let's try and place everything down first i'm gonna get two down actually there we go. How far out did we come? Good. Right on target. So I want to get rid of this. Need to get a normal rotor in. That should be good there if I had the pieces. Thank you, thank you. One there. Get rid of that big chunky boy. Attach a small head on here, like so, and weld it up, if I could. There we go, much better. Alright, now that should be all built. I need to get some steel plates to bring it up onto the merge block. Set up the button panels, get the projector on it. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to bring it up. It'd be much easier if I get a landing of sorts. Get here and here. Go. Up just a smidge further. Oh, maybe one too many. Two, three, jump on it. That should be alright. That seems about even. Oh. Get the merge block. And let's weld it all up, shall we? Oh, we need to get that projector on the back of it very quickly. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, now I need to go and add the unknown signal mark 3. It may look like it's mark 2, but it's not. It's just the same blueprint that I've gone through over and over and over again. Here it is, mark 2, but it's actually mark 3. Add that. Projector. I'd like to keep the projection for now so there's no glitchy glitchiness. And I have put it the wrong way. Okay. Note to self. So it's the plus four that goes on the front and the plus two that goes up the top. Alrighty then. No matter, I can just rotate it to where I want. Like so. Move it up to where I want it to be. It does have a connector on the back of it, but that should be alright. Only buildable. 
go. That should be all right. Good. All right. So let's hook this bad boy up. And I put the button panel in the worst spot ever imaginable. Let's, so let's add no power. Let's put it right there instead. Goody. All right. Good, good, good. So I set that piston already. I'll just double check. Point 0.4. Yeah, that's how I extended it. That's right. Um, let's set these button panel up, shall we? Merge block. Toggle on and off. We want the projector. Toggle on and off. And then this piston. The way it's going to work is every time we want to build something, we'll decrease its velocity. And then when we want to reset the printer, we'll increase the velocity on this. And I just remembered, I want to move that, and I want to put the welders there instead. That's what the second button panel's for. So let's go to the merge. It's here somewhere. There it is. Good. Let's name it. Base. Good. Good, good, good. So, let's connect this bad boy up. Excited. And then, because we're testing it, I'm going to get this piston. I can never find it. Right here to turn on and off. So, if I want to build something, I'll decrease it. And that'll go to negative 0.1. So, nice slow retracting to build. Very nice. If I want to reset the printer, I'll increase the velocity, and it goes back faster to reset it. Perfect. Nice and easy. Uh, if I want it to stop on the way out, so I want it to do one layer at a time, I'll just do that, come over here, press the button to turn that piston off, and sweet. Good, good. So I'll turn that back on, increase the velocity, back to reset, and let's print this bad boy up, but make sure I've got enough inventory to deal with it. Deal plate. Oh, that sounded like lightning. It was. I just saw that. I don't like that noise. I don't like you. Well, I can. I might even get some more decoys out. If that helps. Dang it. Dang it! I died. They do nothing! The decoys, they do nothing! Yeah, it literally just went for me. Oh, owie. Again? Could you not? That hurties. Alright, continuing on. So, this should be... Okay, let's at least turn these welders on. And let's get it going. Okay, it's doing something. See if we can reverse it a little bit. See what happens. I don't think I've got any of those power cells, to be honest. So let's stop and check. Oh, I need nickel. Bum, bum, bum. Not fun. Not fun at all. I'm going to have to wait for it to do that. I really need... Let's scavenge this. Ow! Lightning! Did you get nicked? I'm gonna have to turn that off. That's like really annoying. Jeez, that lightning storm is finally gone. Wow, that was... That was a lot of damage. To me, to everything. Like, I literally just had to run around and go around and fix, and I'm just about to double check I've got everything. Alright, let's see if we can get this done, shall we? So, 
the welders are on. We'll need to come back, so let's turn that piston back on again. Good, at least it's placing it all. I can always finish it up after. Let's stop. As we get more things. Power cells, yep. I'm pretty sure there was just the connector on the back that I cut off. So that looks like... That can't be done, can it? There's no way. Was it really that easy? Um, projector. 29 out of 30. So, yeah, that's done. Um, wowzers. Printer welders. Turn that on so it'll come back further. Uh, that was much easier than I was expecting. So let's get rid of this. Uh, no, actually, let's not, for the fact I need to recharge it, and I need to put a connector down somewhere. Thank you. All right, here we go. Lock it on. Make sure it's nice and level. What I usually do is... Come out a little bit. GPS signal talk. Just like so. Good. He good. Get rid of that one. It's locked. So good, good. So again, we need to go above us. Yes, signal approach. Delete that one. Alright, here we go again. So this time I'll be looking down instead of that. Come out just a smidge. Signal approach. Fly on down. Nice and carefully, so our character doesn't fall off and die. Alright, so for when the next unknown signal drone comes, as I don't think that'll make it, let's get it set up. Let's go into the remote, and let's add everything we need. So, add one of them. We'll need an unknown signal, which will remove that one and replace it with a new one when another one comes later. So we want it to come back, so double check, go up, go to the unknown signal, come back, and then dock. Perfect. Good, good, good. Go up, do nothing. You, I want you to lock that for me, pretty please. And... Yeah. Collision avoidance on. Signal approach, we will need to turn collision avoidance back off so it can dock. Signal dock, we'll need to turn the, sig the gyro spin on and start that drone dock. That should be everything. Lock that up so it charges, and we'll wait up for the next unknown signal. But in the meantime, let's see if we can get this beast of a thing up and going, shall we? Now let's bring those pistons back. Uh, welders are not on, not good. Don't want it to weld on the way through. Get rid of this. Alright, good, that's done. I'll skip that and finish that off later. That should be alright. Let's get these welders on. Just to see what we can build up initially. 
needs to get this big ass cargo container in. In my tests, it did this every time. I'm just worried about the resources. Right, we'll let that plot on through. It'll get there, it'll get there. Ooh, all right, I reckon it's time to see if we can get a platform going and try and build up this big ass auto drilling rig because this thing is gonna be huge. All right, seeing as though this is finally done while we're still waiting for a better unknown signal as that one has glitched out. Uh, I'm going to check if this projector has completely finished it or not. Which is not that one. It'll be that one. 74 out of 74. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's turn that. Let's turn them both off. Off. And this one, I'm going to have a look at how big this is going to be. So that's all right. I have a fix for that. Roll. Yeah, so here it is. This is going to be interesting. See if I can oh, alter the pug. So you may be wondering, how is Sharpie going to build this as it has so many pistons on it and everything like that? If you go and check out one of my mod testing videos, the multi-grid projector... It actually allows you to build the entire blueprint as it is, instead of this stupid vanilla crap you have to deal with. Alright, since we've got an unknown signal, finally we can show off this Mark III drone. So, what you want to do first is you want to make sure that it's not moving by all these numbers, not changing, which they still are. That's alright, we'll just wait a bit more. All right, finally, so I just moved the cargo drone from the printer to clear it and put a connector on the top of the assembler, the refinery, just exactly where it's going to be. It's got a gun on the top, so we'll get some ammo and get that all sorted in the next episode. But for now, before we end the episode, let's get this unknown signal very quickly, shall we, with my Mark III. So let's get into the remote, just like so. What we want to do is remove the old one and add the new one move it up to where it needs to go so what we want the drone to do is fly above the base 200 meters fly and go to the unknown signal we want it to lock those if it doesn't automatically do so we want to go to its remote block and turn the collision avoidance on to avoid voxels and anything on the way back two signal approach again 200 meters above where we are now with the payload turn collision avoidance off so it is able to run into stuff and dock. Go to the signal dock where it is right now. We want it to turn the gyroscope spin on, which is an overridden gyro to two. You'll see in a moment. Start this timer for the drone dock and unlock those mag plates to drop its payload. So let's get this set up very quickly. Get that there, go to autopilot, and button, button, bye. Let's go to its camera. Very, very simply. Where are we? Front view. There it goes to the signal approach, 200 meters above the base, like we told it to on its remote block. Fantastic. It will then fly out to the unknown signal. Very, very easy. So let's go to it. Okay, I can't do that. So I need to go here again. Go to the terminal and let's go to the bottom camera. And this is a fantastic little mod. I can't remember what it's called. I'll probably put it in post editing or whatever. Um, that allows you to move the camera only and V to then reset it. Fantastic. But while we're watching this fly over and pick it up, 
I have had one hell of a busy week. I've finished building the intro you saw at the start of this video. I finished testing and building the Mark III of the Signal Retriever drone. A four floor vanilla elevator. An analog clock, which still needs a little bit of work. And I've also got two side videos, including a multi-grid projector, which I'll be installing for next episode. And I've got a video explaining exactly what it does, as well as another side video that shows two fantastic space engineers tools that shows ingot requirements, component lists. It allows you to import images, 3D images, uh, planets, change config files, all sorts of stuff. They are absolutely fantastic and I've only just found them so I'll be getting stuck straight into them. So here we go with the unknown signal coming on down. What prize do we have? Hopefully not another cow skin. Would be fantastic. Okay, so it looks like I need another thruster. So in my tests I actually had a little bit more oxygen in the in the a little bit more atmosphere. So it didn't have enough time to slow down to come down. Okay. So it needs two more thrusters on the sides, which I'll add right now and I'll weld up off camera. So next time you see this, it will be working perfectly fine and there'll be nothing wrong with it. As I had no issues in my tests whatsoever, but you can see it's progress along the way. So as I sign off. This episode was full of a lot of things. Next episode, we'll be getting this auto drilling rig set up and built. Fly it on over where we need to go. Uh, start drilling, set it all off and do all the stuff and things. I'm really excited about that. Probably start getting into the resources, pulling out of that drill rig itself and using them, which I think will be pretty fantastic. But I think, and we didn't get anything. Awesome. Stay sharp till next time. Thank you so much for watching.